Hello, this is Reza from Radacad. Uh, I'm going to explain in this video how you can have a dynamic banding in Power BI by choosing the size of the band. Here I can choose each band to be, let's say, 10 years, 20 years, 4 years, and all the calculation changes using that. It's using DAX measures in Power BI. Uh, let's go and see how it is working. In the, uh, in the previous video, I explained how you can do uh, dynamic banding by choosing the count of bands. This video is a variation of that, which is talking about by choosing the size of the band. Um, so it's the same scenario that we have, let's say, a sample table of customers. And uh, in addition to all customer information, we have the age of the customer. Uh, which is calculated through Power Query, or it might be part of your data set already. Um, uh, we have created an age band table. This table is using generate series function um, to create list of uh, values from 0 to 120 or from 1 to 120, whatever uh, the size you are looking for. Um, probably band size of, of zero doesn't make sense i'll just change it to one uh, so this is giving me the band size right uh, and then uh, uh, here if i just use that band size as a, or age as a x axis and count of customer key this will give me count of customers for each uh, year but I want this to be for a band between, let's say, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, considering that that number of years in each band, like 40 to 50, 50 to 60, or even 40 to 60 in one band, that is something I want to choose through a slicer like this. So what I have done is I've went to the modeling tab, created a new uh, parameter. This is what we call a what if parameter. Uh, I called it what is band size, or you can call it whatever you want, and start from, let's say, uh, one, depends on how many bands you want, uh, what band size you want, from one to uh, 120, uh, add one at a time, and default one, right? If you create something like that, that would end up with a table like this, which is, what is the band size? Uh, with that generate series uh, function. Now, uh, this table uh, is also coming usually with a measure, and that measure is using the selected value expression, uh, which is giving us what is the selected value in each in the slicer. Uh, so this is right now that uh, uh, a field from that table which is created through what if parameter. And if I change that, you can see that whatever that value is, the size uh, is showing that value. If it is 40, it is showing 40. If it is 26, this is showing 26, right? Now, I also have two other measures, one measure for minimum age. Let me make it bigger. Minimum age, which is minimum across all age values. And another one, which is maximum age, which is using max x. Uh, and these are the values that you see right now here. Right, uh, uh, I think that value that I changed earlier to one that's supposed to be still zero because that is a minimum age that is not the band size. Okay, so here it is. Now, um, minimum age, maximum age, and I have a measure which is band count value. This is not needed for our final result. I just created this to show it as part of my uh, visualization, for example, uh, here this calculates maximum age minus minimum age, whatever the result is, divide by the band size value. Uh, for example, if I want five, uh, if I uh, want each band to be 20 socks, 26 as the um, as the size, this would be five bands. If I want this to be, let's say, 22 or 18, this would uh, give me the count of bands that you have. Um, you might see that I have less than seven bands here. I have five bands. The reason is that the first two bands doesn't really, or the first band or the last band, they don't really have 
uh, any value in this case the first two bands uh, if they have a value if we have customers in this band it will show that as well now the actual or let's say final calculation or the main calculation is this one which is uh, calculating uh, finding the current band head and calculating all the count of all customers within that band so we have minimum age maximum age we have size of the band these are all available already uh, using generate series uh, we are creating an age band table a virtual table this table is used later on to find out what is the band bucket for this given age uh, selected value of the age will tell me what is the given age value now because for every given age value I don't want to do this calculation I only want to do this calculation if that age is uh, at the band head so I'm using this uh, variable to calculate the band head which uh, searching through that virtual table that we have created finding which band is this band and getting the head of that band based on the head and based on the size I have band tail calculated and then only if uh, it is the band head we do this calculation which says uh, give me count of customers uh, where their age is between uh, band head and band tail right very similar to the calculation that I have explained previously in the uh creating dynamic banding using band count this is using band size the difference is that for the band count first we got the count divided it uh, based on the difference in the years that we have we achieved the size and we calculate the rest here we already have the size so it has even one less calculation to give us this final output as a final output as you can see here i can choose what is the size of the band let's say each 62 years is a band and it shows me the uh, result here or i can change it and it shows me the results like that if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos of power bi and ai